So when we're talking about print orientation, we're talking about the orientation of the model to the build plate. This model right now is oriented to where we would print it looking down on it like that. So our layers are going to run across like this right here. Now, in my opinion, for this particular bracket and its application, that would probably be about the strongest way to print it because the loading that we're going to see on here, it's going to be mounted such that the load is taken out through these tabs. There's a, a piece that goes through there and this bolts onto a, a square bracket. So we're going to see a bending moment around this corner and if we slice it like this, all of our strands of plastic as they're being extruded are going to be in a continuous piece as it goes around and prints around. If I go ahead and slice this real quick, uh, we, I sliced it earlier, we can look down and as you, as you start to to see what's going on here. I can bring it down just a little bit. We can see that the extrusions as they go around, you've got a continuous band running around there, around the outside. And so any bending that takes place around this, these continuous strands are going to be taking the brunt of that load. And Likewise, as we go on down and we get into the tabs, we have the same thing. We have a continuous string of plastic, a continuous band of filament, if you will, and it goes through and really reinforces this stuff. Um, it's going to take us into the next slide um, before we start to deal with these overhangs. One of the issues with slicing it in this manner is that these pieces are trying to print out in midair and that's probably not going to be very successful for us. Um, but I'm going to talk about that here in a moment. If we chose to slice this in a different manner, say put this face down on the build plate, I can come over here And now you can see if I slice this, the layers are going to run parallel to the build plate. I'll slice it and you're going to end up with a weak spot right in here. If I get down to it, as you can see, that's the plane where the top of this bracket finishes out and then it's going to start building that vertical section and that area right there is going to be a point of failure the way that this bracket is designed to be used it's probably going to fail right there now if you have a small enough load then it may be perfectly fine and to be honest with you, I believe that the, uh, the way that this was designed, this was the intention uh, for it to be printed because it's all nice and flat on the bottom there. Um, but I'm not a fan of that. It makes the print much weaker. So one of the ways that we can get around some of these things is to just be, be conscientious of how we orient the prints and sometimes you have to give up a little bit. Uh, sometimes to get a print to be successful, we may have to print it in an orientation, something like this. Now this bracket is fairly simple. We can, we can get away with some things, but if you have a much more intricate print, you may have to give up. Maybe you've got sections where you have a, a bracket type piece that looks like this, and then you also have another bracket that's vertical in the same print. Um, you don't get to do both of them uh, so it, it, it all boils down to what you really want. Um, 
there's nothing wrong with printing this bracket in this orientation. It's just not going to be as strong as if we were to print it the way that I had shown you earlier, where we have it like this right here. Because those bands of plastic, those strings of filament, are running in the direction where the load is going to be taken out. 